Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest provides a full range of flash-based storage solutions and a whole lot of other goodies. He's the product manager in marketing with Super Talent Technology, Jason Leong. Jason, welcome into tomorrow. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, first of all, what's the latest on USB 3.0? I've, I've got one here in my new Sony Vio, but I have mm -hmm. nothing that'll work with it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, tell yeah. me about 3.0. A lot of equipment has it, but mm -hmm. what do we got to use with it? Yeah, you know, uh, USB 3.0 is an up-and-coming technology. You know, um, not a lot of people have USB 3.0 flash drives, but they're backward compatible. Uh, they're very fast. Um, I have one here for you to show. Uh -huh. the, it's called the uh, RC8. And now what's unique about this one is that it uses a solid-state um, controller. Really? Yes, so it gets really fast read and write speeds. It uh, comes in 50 gigabyte and 100 gigabytes. And uh, wow. it's, yeah, the, the read speeds is about 270 megabytes per second read, uh, 240 megabytes per second write. Uh, this is an amazing drive. Yeah, a USB 3.0, when we can get more of these kinds of things, will make a huge difference mm -hmm. and, and less time wasted on anything. Right? That's right, yeah, yeah. What does the other end do? Is this just kind of light up or something to make uh, yeah, it fun? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. that's, that just lights up. Uh, and again, we have video of all of the guest interviews, so if you're listening in the car, don't worry. Just come to intotomorrow.com and see the videos of all the cool things we're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a, a USB 3.0 drive, that, yes. like we would know any USB drive, but the next generation much faster, much more storage capacity, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, we uh, released some to Microsoft, and they're uh, loading Windows 8 on it and handing them out to people. Wow. And because this thing has a SSD controller, a virtual caching system, um, it can be used as a boot device. What other kinds of accessories are even being made available these days so far for USB 3.0? Um, not much, but we actually also have a four-port hub that's USB 3.0, and we have a card reader as well. So we're really trying to push the USB 3.0 uh, revolution, if you will. No, no doubt. <laughs> I think it is a revolution, at least when we can get it on some equipment. But then again, as I mentioned, we need to then get the drives and get Correct. other things to, to use it for. But it's like anything else with technology. Things get caught up, and mm -hmm. then people realize there's a lot more benefit. What's this yeah. other cool little thing here? Uh, this one's also a USB 3.0 drive. Uh, uh, but it's a uh, you know a little bit lower end. Um, it's uh, but it does have double data rate flash, which means you can still get very fast speeds, um, and the price is you know, almost the same as USB 2.0. So there's no reason to go back to USB 2.0. It's just <laughs> Good move point. on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Leap ahead into tomorrow and, and stay there. Don't, yeah, yeah. don't go back. Uh, and of course, as you mentioned, they're all backward compatible. So if you then need to use it in a, in a uh, USB 2.0 slot, it's mm -hmm. going to work. You're not going to get the speeds and so forth. Uh, that you you are going to get faster speeds oh, than you are? Okay. normal USB 2.0s because we're going to, this drive uses the full bus to capacity. And so you're going to get the full USB 2.0 speeds, which you wouldn't get you know, using normal USB 2.0 drives. Good point. And we are seeing at least uh, USB 3.0 in more and more devices lately. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, I, I think all these new Ultrabooks will have it, among other things. So yeah, yeah. There, there's more for companies like yours uh, to mm -hmm. be able to produce more of these drives and get them more and more in use. That's right, yeah. All right. Now tell me about this uh, little whatever it is I've got here. Uh, Chips here? This last <laughs> one is called our Core Store MV. And it is a, for embedded systems. Um, it's also an SSD. Uh, so it's basically used for you know, industrial uses. Um, one of the places we're in is in the automobile industry now. Um, a lot of companies, uh, a lot of automobile industries have navigation systems yeah. and things like that. Uh, these are called in-vehicle infotainment systems. And so this thing in my hand that's about the size of two postage stamps mm -hmm. is an in-vehicle infotainment system, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically, it stores all, you know, any kind of media or if you need to browse the Internet. So it's kind of, it holds the OS for, yeah. for cars. It's very thin. Of course, what, what, what makes it look thicker is the piece of Velcro that you're using on your display that's downstairs. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so it doesn't come with the Velcro, but you get yeah, the yeah. idea that it's mm -hmm. very thin, very small. And, uh, and these are the kinds of things that super talent is involved with. Right? Yeah, this is one of the new areas. Areas that we want to get uh, into, you know, because uh, a lot of things 
require computing now. What do you think about Apple using Thunderbolt instead of USB 3.0? Since that is hopefully becoming more and more popular with so many mm -hmm. devices, yet Apple's saying, nah, we got our own thing kind of happening there with Thunderbolt. Yeah, uh, Apple is, you know, very unique in always <laughs> having their own thing going. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, uh, it depends if any other, um, you know, uh, companies implement it. You mm. know, so. so it's a matter of hurry up and wait, really, in that kind of uh, yeah. end of the, of the spectrum. Huh? Yeah, but the, the big thing with USB 3.0 is the backward compatibility. So, yeah. you know, we're already in the market with, with that. Ah, so. touche. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. It's not hurry up and wait. It's here. It's available. Exactly. Take advantage of it. Visit supertalent.com for more information. You'll see what Jason and the team are up to over at Supertalent. Thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us here at IDF. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Back with more from San Francisco in the Intel Developer Forum. I'm Dave. Braveline into tomorrow.com. I'll take a break to clear my throat. We'll be right back.